guys welcome back okay it's time for me to do a quick little run through of the items that i chose for my shop my stash over the past i would say it's been about a month i think because i haven't done one in a while and i think the only thing that's kind of been keeping me sane and keeping me from doing another one to pick new products is because of the fact that i have purchased a few things here or there <laughs> over the last month that you know i did kind of get to play with and mix it in with my shop my stash stuff so let's just do a quick run through because it's kind of like one of those either yes i still love it or i do love it or not nah, really feeling it type of situation so let me start with the foundations now I chose my ColourPop foundation. This one is the No Filter Foundation, the first one they came out with, the liquid. And I reconnected with this foundation, you guys. I hadn't used this in a long time. And using it again, I think kind of, I have some like different techniques and stuff than I used to use back in the day. You know, every day is a learning process. Every single time I put on makeup, I'm learning something new, either about my face, my skin, the products, tools I should use. So it's a constant learning process. And I think I've learned how to use this in a way that I really like it. I have it on today and I feel like it looks pretty good. You guys can let me know in the comments, okay? Be nice, <laughs> but... Yeah, so this ColourPop foundation, I love it. I will definitely repurchase sometime in the future because y'all know I got a gang of foundation to get through. Now, this Burt's Bees Goodness Glows foundation, I did try this again and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the finish of it because it's kind of like, okay, I'm expecting a nice dewy glow with this foundation, but instead it just feels a little bit thick and shiny to me. So this does not work well for me. It might work okay for you, but for me, I don't like it. I also don't like the color. They didn't have a large selection of shades at my CVS. So this was the closest to me, which is pretty close, but it kind of leaves me looking a little more gray than I like, and I don't care for the smell. So this is definitely getting decluttered. Now, the last foundation that I chose for my shop mustache is the NYX Total Control Drops. Hadn't used this in quite a while as well, but I, I reconnected with this as well. I like it. Um, like I said, once again, I think it's probably like a technique thing. When I used it before, I think I was using way too much. Now I kind of do different things as far as using concealer to cover up certain, you know, dark spots and stuff before just going ham with foundation. So I think I have some better techniques for this and I really, really like the finish. It's like a nice soft matte finish for me. I like it. Okay, those were all the foundations that I used. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these concealers because y'all know I was grabbing concealers like it ain't nobody's business. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I did grab the LA Girl Pro Conceal because I had not used this in years and I actually like it. I still like it. The coverage on this concealer is mad crazy, okay? And it blends out nicely. Lots of multiple uses for it, you know, for concealing, contouring if you have a darker shade, cleaning up eyebrows. That's why I really, really love this concealer in the first place. But yeah, I still like my LA Girl Pro Conceal, okay? So I still will be using that. Um, I also pulled... <laughs> This Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer that everybody loves. I don't like this stuff. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to say I hate it, but I don't like this stuff. And I couldn't even really tell you why. I just know when I use it, under my eyes look more creased and crepey. It doesn't blend out nicely for me. It just seems like it's drying and it just settles in my fine lines. So that's just for me. You know how products work differently for different people. And like I said, a lot of people love this. I don't like it. So yeah, this Age Rewind Eraser, it's gonna get decluttered because I don't even want it 
I don't want it for anything. <laughs> okay, so it's gotta go. My Fenty Beauty Concealer. I think with this, I'm still kind of like eh, on the fence. This would not be my first choice to grab for a concealer. There's certain things I like about it. Like I like the finish. I like the coverage, but this tone, this shade, maybe if I chose a different shade, it would work out better for me. But there's always something about this when I use it, I don't like. And I think it might be the shade because it has really nice coverage. So I'm going to keep using it, keep trying it, keep trying to figure out <laughs> what it is about it I don't like. Okay. Lastly, I think for concealers, I chose the e.l.f. Um, you know what? I don't even know if I chose this e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This one has a satin finish. I might have just purchased this over the last few weeks and decided to throw it in <laughs> with my stuff that I'm using right now. But I like this stuff. I like the original Elf Camel Concealer. I mean, when you want some serious coverage, um, and it's nice and, and matte. I like the original one, but I like this one as well because every now and then I like a nice light dewy finish. I am wearing this under my eyes today and I really, really like it. Just a little bit, not a lot, but I really, really like it. So yeah, that definitely is going to stay. Okay, so let's talk about the powders that I chose. I did choose this Ciate London extraordinary translucent powder i got this in my boxy charm i believe it's just you know a white translucent loose powder and with these i'm always kind of cautious because you know i don't like to have any type of white cast or anything like that on my face and i actually like this is not bad i have it on today and you know i just use it in strategic areas under my eyes around my mouth on my chin and on my forehead just to kind of add a little bit of brightness and i like it for me maybe the key is just that i use a very very small amount on like a pointed soft brush to just gently tap in those areas instead of going in with my damp sponge like i like to do with my more almond and golden toned powders loose powders that i use for this one, I just go in lightly with a pointed soft brush and just gently tap where I want it to go. It sets really nicely. I think it leaves my skin looking nice and smooth. I mean, I kind of bring it down a little bit also in this area where my pores are like super crazy. I like it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep using that. I also chose this um, Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. <laughs> I dug this out my drawer because I've had this forever and never use it. And I said, you know what? Let me just take it out and try it and see what's happening. And I, you know what? I don't think I used it. I do not think I used it. Um, this powder is a little messy. It comes with a powder puff in here. So it is a little bit messy to use but and it does have like that strong perfume scent so i'm gonna revisit this i'm gonna keep this in my drawer because i am going to use it okay <laughs> i promise i'm gonna use it and see how i feel about it um to set my face i only chose one powder i chose the maybelline super stay and this is just a pressed powder what shade do i have 355 coconut is the shade that i use i have it on right now if you want to know what it looks like i use this to set all of the rest of my face after i go in you know with the loose powder and everything i use this to just set all the other areas of my face and i really like this powder um i think this coat works nicely for me it sets my makeup and it lasts me all day I never look up and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is drooping, this is hanging, this is moving. I feel like this is a really nice, good pressed uh, setting powder. Now, I don't know what was going on with me when I was picking like bronzers and contours. I think some of this stuff kind of got pulled out of my collection during the month. <laughs> accidentally because I don't remember pulling all this stuff I really don't I know that I pulled this covergirl full spectrum um bronzer this one is I always forget what shade this is what is this ebony yeah this is in the shade ebony so as you can see it is cocoa licious okay 
I ordered mine off of Amazon because I wasn't able to find it anywhere. I think they might have, you know, re-brought it back or whatever. But this, you would think, oh my gosh, it's super duper dark, you know, just use it as a contour or something. But I use it to bronze and it doesn't come off as dark on me, I don't think, as it looks in the pan. I think it bronzes me up real nicely. So I really, really like this CoverGirl full spectrum in the shade ebony. Now I also pulled my Milani Earth Glow powder. I've used this before several times. I used to use this all the time. It used to be my holy grail. This is what it looks like. Also a very, very nice bronzer for us women of color that need this depth and richness in our lives, okay? This bronzer is really, really nice. It smells like perfume, so if you don't like scent, you might not like it, but I use this when I want kind of like a more, a little bit more of a warm red tone. Like if I don't really want to go in with blush as well, I will use this because it gives me a little bit more, you know, that warm richness and a little hint of red. So um, this is just another option that I chose. Love it, love it, love it. Now for contouring, I chose my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. Most of y'all know this is the OG, okay? For us, it just works out perfectly, okay? If you're looking for a good contour, this palette is the bomb. They have this powder palette. They also have a cream palette and they also came out with a deeper, darker palette. So yeah, they have a lot of range for women of color and I really like that about Black Radiance. But this contour never fails me. Like if I wanted to cut up my cheeks right now and just get that nice, deep, dark contour, easy. This highlight is bomb as well. This, um... I never use this sculpt uh, powder. Maybe I should try using it under my eyes or something one day, but I never ever use it. So I will definitely have to try that out. But yeah, for contouring, you cannot go wrong with this palette. This one, the cream one, you know, if you prefer, if you prefer a cream contour, bomb. I also chose my Black Opal True Colors Stick. This one is in the shade Black Walnut. <laughs> I chose this. I was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play with some uh, cream contour. Knowing full well that I really don't cream contour, so I didn't use it. <laughs> but I do know that this works excellent as a cream contour. You don't have to use a lot, and it gives you that nice, rich, deep cut that you want for a contour, okay? So that one is black opal true color in the shade black walnut now this is one of the items that i think i kind of snuck out of my drawer a few weeks ago and just never put it back this is the makeup geek and it's one of their face palettes i can't think of the specific name of it because it's not on the back on the back it does have like the names of the shadows and you know information and stuff but for the actual palette, I don't see the name of it. So I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, this is their face palette. So you do get a blush here in the center, a beautiful highlight, and then a contour shade. It's so funny because this contour shade, if I swatch it and, you know, try and show it to you guys, it's like kind of hard to see. You know, it's one of those weird colors. Oh, you could see it there. You can see it there. But it works as a really nice contour for me. This blush, I have on this blush today, okay? <laughs> so if you like this blush, I'm wearing it today. And this highlighter, I'm not wearing the highlighter today, but the highlighter is ship popping as well, okay? Look at that. Look at that highlighter. It has just a hint of color in there, but it is so, so pretty. I didn't pick up that much, but you know, you guys get the point. It's so, so pretty. It's like, it's not too overbearing and it goes so nicely with this blush. I love this palette. So yeah, I will definitely continue to use this. Okay, something else that kind of snuck into my makeup basket over the last couple of weeks is this Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. It's new from Essence. I did pick this up from Ulta when I did a little, little teeny tiny bit of shopping. And it does have a mirror, which is nice. 
and it is a very nice mirror okay and this is what this palette looks like i like this palette for bronzing contouring you know it caters to different shades different skin tones i typically go in with these two just kind of depending on what i'm doing it does add a nice bit of depth and warmth on my cheeks and around my perimeter of my face so yeah this is what this palette looks like very very nice so yeah i will definitely continue to use that even though that wasn't part of my shop my stash <laughs> it is now okay um and i think this might have got did i I don't remember if I grabbed this or not. I think I might have snuck this in as well. Like I said, I don't know. I was like really going ham with bronzers and contours over the last couple of weeks. But this is the Beauty Bakey, Beauty Baker B, Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette. Now, this palette is one where when you see it, you just automatically are like, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's so warm. The highlight, the contour, the blush, you know, it's just so, so pretty. But after I purchased it and got my hands on it, I was like, okay, how do I use this again? I know what to do with the highlighter. This up here, not really sure what to do with this i was really thrown aback by because you know i'm like how do i use a contour with a shimmer in it you know and then this blush absolutely gorgeous extremely pigmented but it has a little bit of shimmer in it as well so if you're someone who kind of steers clear of shimmer because you have a lot of texture on your face like i do this palette is kind of like why'd you buy that <laughs> all shiver okay but after playing around with this some and kind of getting familiar with it i'm like this palette is bomb okay the highlight is shipopping the bronzer contour shade is oh my gosh when you put it on you just put on a little bit right in this right in this little cut right here just put a little bit there and use a firm brush to blend that mug out. Oh my goodness, it is so freaking gorgeous. I mean, that might've been one of the best contour days that I've ever had. And so sometimes, you know, you could be a little scared, you could be a little intimidated by things because, you know, you see that and you're like, uh-uh, that's not a contour, that's not gonna look right on me. What is that? Is that an eyeshadow? What the, <laughs> you know? I mean, but when I put it on my face and blended it out, you guys, it was so gorgeous. As you can see, this blush is ridiculously pigmented. So you only need a tiny bit. Look, look, <laughs> do you see this highlighter? Do you see that highlight? I don't, I, look, I don't even have to say anything else, okay? I finally figured out what to do with this palette and I'm happy about it. So yeah, this palette, I love it. I'm glad that I didn't just declutter it or give it away because, honey, that's what I was going to do because it's just sitting around. This palette is bomb. I really like it. Sometimes you just got to get in there and blend stuff out and you will be so surprised at how these products will look on your skin. You know, a lot of times it's technique. It has to do with tools. You know, you got to find the right tool for your face. Some foundations that I use, it's kind of like, uh, I loved it this day and then this day, I hate it. It's like, why does my face look like that? Because some foundations for me work better with a brush. Other foundations work better with a sponge. You know, so it just kind of depends a lot on application, tools, you know, technique, all kind of stuff. So, you know give stuff another try if you don't like it the second or third time then yeah you probably don't like it but you never know you might figure out a way to use something that really works for you i'm learning that <laughs> okay now let's just take a look at highlighters now i only picked one thing to use for highlight for this shop my stash so <laughs> Y'all know I've been picking other stuff and bought other stuff. I chose my BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. This is the only thing that I chose to use for highlight. And I did use it. 
I used it. I didn't use it to create an eye look or anything. And I never used this bronzer that I said I was gonna use. It's just, it looks so light, but I never even tried it. I'm still gonna try it, I just haven't yet. I did go in with this highlighter, gorgeous. I mean, so, so pretty. If you have this palette, go ahead and explore it. Use it for different things, you know, bronzer, highlight, you know, it's just really, really pretty. So, yeah. Um, this is something that I do want to put into play more. I just didn't <laughs> play around with it that much, but it is a bomb palette. Now, one of the new highlighters that I did purchase, okay, so sue me, <laughs> is this Milani Duo. Oh my goodness. This is one of their highlighter duos in the shade Double Shot. <laughs> this mug just came out, you guys. If you saw... I don't know, one of my videos, a couple videos back, you know that I used this in it. <sighs> Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys again, cause listen, Milani did not come to play. Do you see that? And it's like one of the highlighters is a cream, one is a powder. Oh my goodness. These highlighters, bomb. And I have it on today. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have it on today. I think I have this one on today, but I didn't go ham. You know, I kind of try to keep it civilized today. <laughs> but this highlighter is bomb. That's probably going to stay in my drawer for a hot minute, okay? I also tested out the new Uma Beauty Black Magic Carnival Collection. You guys know I did a whole video testing out the eyeshadow palette with a really bright, bold look. And I tested out this highlighter that came with it. I have still haven't gotten my lipstick yet, you guys, but you know, whatever. So this highlighter <laughs> is in my makeup basket right now as well. This is in Barbados. So this is what this highlighter looks like. Oh my goodness, I know you guys have already seen this if you watch my video, but if you didn't watch my video, look at that. Look at that, oh my gosh, that highlighter. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so yeah, this is staying in my makeup basket for now, okay? Y'all, I have so much stuff that I've been using over the last few weeks, it is not even funny. Okay, blush. Now, uh, I chose two blushes, one of which was this Cover Effects Duo, and this is the Matte and Shimmer Duo in the shade Spice Cinnamon. This is one of the ones, you know, it's been out for a long time, and I finally, got my hands on it, or should I say, I finally decided to spin the coin and get it. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to try this out. Beautiful, beautiful blush. I haven't tried out the shimmer yet. I don't know why, colored shimmers scare me sometimes. You know, blush toppers, shimmers, stuff like that. They scare me, but oftentimes when I go in and use it as a highlight or a blush topper, I really, really love it. So I'm definitely going to do that. I just haven't done it as of yet. But the blush in here, bomb. Now the other item that I chose for blush to use was this NYX Sweet Cheeks. And this is like one of their combination palettes. So it's a combination of eight different blushes in here. And they're all very, very pretty, absolutely gorgeous. I didn't use this palette. Not that I can recall. I don't recall using this palette. I've used it before and typically, of course, I gravitate to the darker shades in here, which are absolutely gorgeous. I love the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. That's why I chose this because I knew it would be easy you know, for me to pick blushes out of here. But <laughs> I had some fun with some other blushes. Um, so this one didn't get used, but I definitely love this palette. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't use that palette is because with a certain eye look, a certain makeup look I did, I was looking for my e.l.f. always spicy. This blush is like, if somebody told me you can only have one blush, pick one blush for the rest of your life, honey, because it's all you can use, it would be this. This color 
goes with everything. Any type of look you do, any eye look you do, whether you're trying to go natural, nude, warm tone, cool tone, bold eye look, neutral eye look, this blush from e.l.f., the Always Spicy, I could put this on and it is going to just warm up my cheeks and give me a nice flush of color all the time. This is probably like my second or third one that I've purchased of the Always Spicy from e.l.f. Beautiful, beautiful shade. So I was looking for this and <laughs> so I used it and forgot all about the next, honey, okay? Now the last blush that I did use is this new Milani. This is one of the new rose powder blushes in the shade Spiced Rose. Yeah, I saw this going around on the tube and on Instagram. And once I saw this color with that little hint of shimmer in there, I was like, honey, that blush is for me. <laughs> it's for me. I want it. I got to try it. Look at that so so gorgeous and you can see just that little hint of gold in there it is so so pretty i did use this in one of my videos so you might have seen it in action but honey you will see it again <laughs> you will see it again very soon okay okay let me hurry up because i'm just talking like crazy okay for primers I did choose the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. This is one that I got in my BoxyCharm, but I actually purchased another one. I like it so much. I used it today. This stuff, it just feels really good. That's, that's, like, that's the first thing that I think about. When it comes to primer, it has to feel good. I love it when it feels in my pores, smooths out my skin, and gives me a nice base for my makeup. And this does all of those things. I really like this primer, so I'm probably going to keep using it for a few more goes. I also selected the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I tried this out for the first time, I think last month in one of my shop mustaches. Realized that I actually really like it. I was kind of concerned because, you know, you think jelly and all that stuff, sticky. And while it is a little bit tacky when I first put it on, it just kind of subsides and as you smooth it out all over your face, it does give your face a really nice foundation for your makeup. I think putting this on prior to my foundation and concealer and stuff, that little bit of tackiness, it just kind of grips on and stays put. Wherever you put your foundation is gonna stay when you use this primer. So. I like it. It's kind of kind of weird. Feels a little takes a little getting used to, but I like it. I like it a lot. It definitely has my foundation and my makeup staying in place all day, okay? Now, lastly for primer, I did choose this Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I've been using this a lot, okay? I've kind of, you know, used the the Elf Dew Primer a little, used the uh, Touch and Soul a little bit. But this Becca Skin Love, one of my favorites. And it's so funny because I think it's my favorite because it feels so good. It feels good. I like the way it smells. It's really, it feels really moisturizing, even though it does blur out my skin. Um, but it doesn't really fill in my pores. That's one thing I will say about this when I use it. I don't feel like it fills in my pores. Is it supposed to? Brighten and blur primer. Yeah, maybe it doesn't really claim to do that, but it doesn't fill in my pores that great. So that's the only thing that I don't really like about this. But other than that, I like the way it feels, probably because I love moisturizers and stuff. So it's a nice primer. Now for skincare, um, prior to makeup application, if I don't do it in the morning, I, right after I wash my face, which I typically do. Sometimes even if I don't decide to put on makeup or film later on, until later on, I will go back in with serum and moisturizer. And for the last, what, two, almost three months now, I've been using these Good Molecules products because they sent them to me and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try them out, okay? Now they did send me some other products, a squalene oil, which I don't really use oils on my face that much. So I haven't used it that much, maybe two or three times, but it is very nice and lightweight. 
Um, but this discoloration correcting serum, I've been using this stuff like crazy. I can't really say, I'm gonna go through this whole bottle because I can't really say, oh, I see, you know, discolorations and stuff leaving my face or my skin because I just can't say that at this point. But it is a very nice serum. Now, this silicone free priming moisturizer, y'all, this is my jam. <laughs> okay, it's so funny because in the mornings, I cannot wait to put this combination on. But this moisturizer is my favorite. Okay, I will put this on whether I'm putting on makeup or not. It says it's a priming moisturizer, but honey, I just use it as a regular moisturizer because I love it. Now let me just quickly run through a few other things that I picked out. I chose my MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot to use as my eyeshadow base over the last few weeks. It looks like this, if you're not familiar with it. It just has a nice kind of thick, solid base for eyeshadow, it works amazingly. I've used this stuff, as you can see, for years and I love it, I really, really do. So, you know, this is a staple for me, not going anywhere. Now, I said I was going to use this Hank and Henry eyeliner pen and I didn't use it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so stuck in my ways when it comes to eyeliner. I love my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. I love the brush tip because it's nice and flexible. It's just hard for me to switch over to kind of like a firm felt tip type situation when it comes to eyeliner. You know, it's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I have this stuff and I need to use it, you guys. So I'm gonna keep this in my drawer and I'm gonna try my hardest to use it. I ain't making no promises, but I'm gonna try. Now for brows, um, you know what is funny? I don't exactly remember what I chose for brows. If I chose my LA Girl Slim Shady Pencil or a pomade, I kind of switched back to using my LA Girl um, Slim Shady Brow Pencil because I missed it, hadn't used it for a long time. And for some reason, the pomades just didn't didn't feel like they were doing it for me. So I went back to using my pencil. Of course, you know, my brows are nice and dark and deep, <laughs> but I did try out this LA Girl Brow Palmade. I usually use the e.l.f. I love the e.l.f., but I wanted to try something different. So I tried this Brow Palmade and while it does work nice, you know, it's a decent Brow Palmade. I think this is the dark brown. Um. It, to me, it's, it has a little bit more slip than I like. That's the only way I can describe it. You know, with the pencils, they have a little bit of stiffness to them. So they're able to leave the marks and, you know, not be slippery. It's kind of like you have that friction going on so you can really shape up and create your brows the way you want. This doesn't really have that for me. It's just a little bit too slick. I can use this and put a little bit of brow powder on it and it's, you know, it stays in place a little bit better and looks a little bit darker for me, but this just, it wouldn't be my first choice at this point. Um, I also chose this Bobbi Brown Black Gel Eyeliner. Didn't use that either. <laughs> so I don't need to talk about that. For mascara, I did choose my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. I got this recently. I like this stuff, okay? I've been I've been wearing um, falsies for a while, for a couple of months. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get my false lash on for a couple of months and see how that goes until I get sick of the glue ripping my eyelashes out. And so now I'm back to mascara for a little while, give my lashes a break. This is what this mascara wand looks like. And this is one of the types of wands that I like. It's not exactly like my Thrive Cosmetics that I was using for ages and ages because this one has a different shape, but it does have the hard plastic kind of like prickly teeth that I like. I don't know why I like them, you guys. I used to hate them, but now it's like I can't live without them. <laughs> I love them. I think that Thrive Cosmetics really got me used to using those and showing me how it could kind of really open up, lengthen, and volumize my lashes. 
I also chose the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This mascara is kind of like just an easy go-to. If you want something that's gonna work well, thicken your lashes, lengthen your lashes, and not give you any issues with clumps and stuff, this is a really good mascara. It's a bit pricey. <laughs> so, you know, just FYI, it is a little bit pricey, but I do like this mascara, but I've really been feeling that LA Girl Volumatic, so I might have to re-up on that because it is right up my price alley, okay? Lastly, you guys, I want to uh, go ahead and just discuss the setting sprays and facial moisturizer misters or whatever you want to call them that I've been using. Uh, which ones did I choose? The ones that I actually chose <laughs> for my shot mustache was this uh, Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. This was part of Rich Lux's um, whole little bundle thing. And this one is the Dream Sickle. I always call it the wrong thing. It's either Cream Sickle or Dream Sickle. But yeah, this I use to just lightly refresh my face. I like using it for that to spritz, refresh, set, whatever I want. When I want to smell some candy, smell like ice cream, whatever. So this is really nice. I like this spray. Definitely going to keep using that. I also picked um, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. Yo, if you are like a lover of drugstore products and you're on a budget and you want something that works nice, feels nice, smells nice, these Wet n Wild sprays. I just bought the coconut one, which I haven't used yet, but I can't wait to try it out. This one is almost gone. But this rose spray, if you like rose scent and you know, just having a nice refreshing mist, you'll like this because it does really well as far as all three functions. The prepping, setting, and refreshing, it does all three of those things very well and you will definitely get your money's worth out of this if you wanna try it out. The last spray that I actually chose was my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You guys know I love this stuff. You can never go wrong with it. I love the sprayer. I mean, it just it is what it is. I love the sprayer. It sets my makeup good enough, but it's just that continuous mist. It just, it causes all of the makeup that you just piled onto your face to just gently sink in. <laughs> you know, it just sinks in, okay? So yeah. Love this for that. I will always use this. I have like 5 million of these. So y'all going to see that all the time. And now these three are ones that I either grabbed or purchased because on a certain day I wanted to use them. This one here I got out of my boxy charm. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I use this like if I'm just sitting down watching TV and I feel like my skin or my face is dry, I would douse it with this. <laughs> you can ask my husband. He'll come in and just be like, what are you doing and why does it smell like watermelon, okay? Because I would just take pop this top off and just, just douse my face in it. It feels so good and my face just ends up so refreshed. So that's what I use this for. Just anytime my face feels dry and I'm not putting on moisturizer or nothing right then, I'll spray it with this and I'm good to go, okay? Now, I also grabbed my <sighs> MAC Fix Plus in the lavender. This has quickly become my favorite scent or flavor <laughs> for the MAC Fix Plus sprays. If you haven't tried the lavender and you like the Fix Plus and you like lavender, honey, check it out because this is so nice. Of course, MAC Fix Plus is gonna set your makeup and keep it tight and keep it right all day, okay? I use this today, thank you. And just that lavender scent just adds that nice extra bit of relaxation. Just the scent is just very calming. And honey, I need to be calm in this day and age. Okay, and then lastly, I did pick up this Milani Rose Water Prep and Refresh. You guys know I love rose. Anything that smells like rose, rose water, rose spray, rose whatever, I love it. 
So of course I was gonna try this and this is a prep and refresh spray. It doesn't say anything about setting your, you know, makeup or anything like that. It just says hydrating mist. So that's what I use it for. Kind of like the same thing with my watermelon uh, glow ultra fine mist. I kind of use them the same. I use more of this though, because I'm assuming since this is like, what percent? This is like a whole lot of percent watermelon. I don't know if it's like 80% watermelon or something. I need to use this up pretty quickly. So I use this a lot, but this one here, I just do the same thing with it. If I'm feeling dry or I feel like my makeup needs to be refreshed or my skin is feeling parched, I'll go in with this and just and just let it soak in and it works out very nicely to rehydrate, okay? So that's it, you guys. I've been talking forever. This is ridiculous because I don't think when you do a shot my stash, you're supposed to have this much stuff in it. <laughs> But, you know, I just kind of added a few things here and there. So, so y'all, don't come for me too much in the comments. Like, hey, okay, you know that was way too much stuff for a Shop My Stash, okay? Sorry. But anyways, that means it's time for a new Shop My Stash. So, I will be filming one of those shortly because your girl needs some new makeup to play with, okay? So, thanks so much for hanging out with me, checking out this video, and just always supporting and loving your girl i really appreciate it i love going through reading your comments and chit chatting with you guys getting tips information you know questions and stuff i really enjoy that so just know that your support is greatly appreciated i love it it's why i'm here and that's it so don't forget to hit that like button and i will see you on my next video Toodle.